Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to explore the difference between Quick Mask and Layer Mask. So quite often, Quick Mask and Layer Mask get uh, confused. We're going to demo this with this image I took in New Orleans. And I kind of want to isolate uh, the sort of water main here. And so I'm going to use the Quick Selection for that. Uh, just W is the hot key for Quick Selection. And again, you can use the bracket keys, right bracket or left bracket to make it smaller. And again, with quick selection, it tends to work best when you're zoomed in quite a bit. But I'm going to click and drag in here in the photo. And as I click, it looks like I need to hit check auto enhance here. Let's see, that will help out. If you uh, select too much of the area, you can hold Alt or Option and click and drag, and that will remove this selection. So it looks like I got a bunch of uh, the bike here. I'm just going to subtract just by clicking along here. a little bit more and then you know it captured the shadow which I'm not you know uh, excited about or not excited about in any way I think it's fine um, but I don't want this little bit here and so right about here is about as probably as good as it's gonna get um, so what I'm gonna do is hit the Q key now Q is the hot key for quick mask you can also access it from the layers or your tools palette here on the left it's this little camera icon and so what this is is it's essentially a temporary mask you can see in your channels here you have quick mask on and then when you hit RGB uh, and you turn this off basically it goes away so again uh, the hotkey is Q for quick mask and it's a layer mask icon and notice that the layer mask icon here is the same so they look identical One's over here, one's over here. But the difference is one is temporary and one is uh, permanent in a sense that it becomes the layer. So uh, the way Quick Mask works, I'm just gonna use my brush tools and I'm gonna hit the B key for paintbrush, right click, choose a hard round brush. So I want 100% for hardness. I'll reduce the size a little bit here. And then I want to hit the D key. So I want default black and white and as I paint with a black brush, what will happen is I'll add to the mask. So as I paint along here, and let's zoom in here and do this. Shrink down my brush a little bit. As I paint with black, you'll see I'm essentially removing this stuff along here. Now what is happening behind the scenes? Well, if I hit the Q key, what's happening is my selection is adjusting. So just like on the fly here, you know, basically I can paint it out. Now, if I want to bring out the image and uh, essentially remove some of the mask, I can hit the X key, which is the same as reversing your foreground colors of black and white. So white will remove the mask. And again, the X will add the mask, or black will add the mask. So I can hit, you know, basically one, then hit the X key and flip. If you don't like hot tees, you can always click on the little curved arrow here to flip between the two. But that's basically how you go about it. So I can paint this little bit out. And I'm pretty close to being done. I'm okay with that. There's a little junk here, it looks like. I'm not looking for perfect selection, but I do want um, pretty good. I mean, the whole thing with Quick Mask is you can do a really good job of. Um, painting out a selection it does require a lot more time so you know understand that if you are trying to select something really great and you want it to be perfect you're gonna spend some quality time doing it and then if you click and then move your cursor and hold the shift key and you can essentially create straight lines just like your regular paintbrush tool so I'm gonna paint all this stuff here and I'm gonna leave this jagged weird shadow I think it's kind of interesting and let's see here maybe I'm not so crazy about this curve here even though it's probably part of the image I'm gonna go ahead and paint it out it just seems strange uh, it's like an extra bump here I know it's like the water main hose and I'm gonna do the same thing here because I'm gonna repurpose this image for something else so I'm just kind of masking this out here to use it for my own utility and then all this junk along here it looks like there's some little trace of black lines so I can paint that out there 
Now, I'll zoom out here, have a look. Looks pretty good. Again, hit the Q key, and there's my selection. Now, to make a permanent mask, click on the square circle here. Now, the difference between the mask and layer mask is that this is permanent in the sense that the mask is here. But it is a mask, so I can always adjust it. If I hit the X key and paint away, you know, some of the image will come back. I'm going to undo that, Control-Z or Command-Z. If I hit the X key and paint with black, I can remove some of the photo. But again, I can hit the X key and paint it back in, just like that. I'm going to undo it a couple times to bring it back to where I had it before. So, that's the main difference between Quick Mask and Layer Mask. Again, they work exactly the same in terms of working with the default brushes or default colors, black and white. Black will, will be the mask, white will be the image. And the only difference is that the quick mask is temporary where the layer mask is permanent. So until next time, see you soon at Adobe Photoshop CC. Cheers.